Hi everybody, Nancy here. Today I'm going to show you how to open three different apps with one click. Um, yesterday I was trying to take notes while I was watching a YouTube video and I wanted a third app to have um, scriptures available. I was watching a sermon that I was trying to take notes on. Well, here. And I wanted the Bible next to it so that I could work it. I mean, so I could uh, take notes. Now, I mean, that's easy enough to just set up in Zoom notes. It's fast and easy. However, I wanted to be able to do it every time. I just wanted to be able to click one button and it opened up everything, no matter what I like. So let me show you. If I close this down, I mean, I'm going to turn down Zoom notes. I'm going to get rid of that. And there's just shortcuts left if I so I'm just suddenly decide I want to take notes let's say you're in class and you want to take notes open zoom notes up and you want to go to YouTube I don't know whatever you want to do and um, see if I click on the one two three four fifth fifth icon from the bottom left it's kind of an aqua color it looks like a three column table if I click on that See, it opens up Zoom Notes. On the left, it opens up um, YouTube on the right, and then it opens up a slider. Oh, I just replaced the slider. Um, on the right. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and close all that down again so I can show you how I did it. Oops, sorry. Okay. So, okay. So I, I searched under Zoom Notes because that's how I named it. So if I open that up, go to the three dots, there's only two commands that's required to make that happen. It's called, the first one is split screen between. I knew that I wanted to split screen, so I just searched under split. And see, you can see split, split screen apps. So I, I looked at that to make sure, and yes, that's what it's going to do. So I just do a plus. I mean, I just tap on it and that adds it. Now see how it um, gives you the option to click on the app and now I can choose any app that I want to open up. Then I can go to this one, choose any one. Well, I just, let's just choose something. And then uh, if you go to the little right arrow, that one right there, it lets you change the ratio, which I absolutely love because I'm forever having to change because I always want something larger on the left and something smaller on the right. It always happens that way. So I have the option. If I click on that, see it gives me now the two-thirds um, plus one-third. Or you can do other stuff. Ask each time, shortcut, input, whatever. Um, so you have those options. Now, and then... Then I decided, well, I also want the pullover one, the one that you can hide if you want to. So then I searched under open because I had no clue what I needed. And I look at all the things that it pulls up under open and see it. it's uh, open app. That's what I wanted it to do. So if I look at that, it opens a specific app. All right, so that's what I did for the second command. Let me get rid of that. That's where I, what I did there. If I do the down arrow, see I have the option to slide over. So if I close that up, it, I, I can just toggle it on and off. And those are the only two commands that are necessary. Now, of course, you would put it on your desktop the same way I've shown before. You just click on the eye on the far right here and see add to home page which is what i did and it gives you options of a bunch of different icons they've got a lot of new icons out now um you just choose the icon you want to use and you can choose a different color and then just do add and i'm not going to do that i've already got it so i'm going to cancel that but that's all so if you want to go ahead and take take a screenshot i'll go ahead and open up both of these so that you can see just know that um, those two things have to be accessed with that 
up in that arrow on the far, far right. Okay, and those are the settings for those. Okay, that's all there is to it. Now, if I go out and do it again, oh, well, let me just run it from here. I can just click it, run it from here. It opens up Zoom Notes, it opens up YouTube, and it opens up the slider with the Bible Gateway, which is the Bible. Okay, now it's going to open the last open document, which is the the sermon notes that I was taking, never finished, just started it. Then, because I got, <laughs> once, I, once I decided I wanted to do that, I kind of lost focus and, and started figuring this out. But um, now notice on the top left corner, I've got a picture of the sermon. Now, in the past, we were able to do that. And then we couldn't do it. They changed the how-to and... I got it to work twice yesterday, but I have no idea what I did to make it happen. I just, I somehow got the... This was a typical meal when I was flying. Uh, sorry, guys. I accidentally... Um, I know whenever the recording starts that that's not going to work. I'm trying to... Okay. Uh, let me do it again. If I, if I pull this up and I just click on the th that... There, it opens it up again. But when I click on the image, it takes you to... Um, I, I can't touch any of that stuff. It takes it to... Slide over. Come on. Slide over. There. Okay, finally. It takes you to a video, but you have to... If I click on the image over on the left... It takes you to the video that I was wanting to watch. Now, it, you know, it's when it started, it was a commercial because you always get a commercial before your videos. And I know that it will not record my voice when I'm talk when I'm trying to show y'all that. So I had to stop it. But anyway, if anybody knows how I did that, how I got that image with it, I wish you'd put it in the comments because I, I could do it. I did it twice. But I have no idea what I did to ha make it happen. Isn't that pathetic? But um, so I know that we can also we can still do the image with the uh, video. But I don't know how we did it. Okay. But again, if you'll tell me, that'll be great. Anyway, that's it. Y'all have a great day here. Bye.